Hey guys, before I forget, there will be Arlen contest at 22,222 subscribers. Probably, hopefully by the end of the month, we can reach that and then give Arlen away and do another contest. Today, we're going to talk about a completely baseless speculation. Let me begin with that. I like it a lot, though, because it's extremely clever and it is a long shot. So the card that we're currently looking at is a Endbringer. The reason that this Endbringer is unique, it's a test print. A test print of two cards. So you need two cards to create this one giant Aldrazi card. Um, and essentially, we're looking at a... We're looking at two... You can see the middle intersection. These are two full-sized magic cards that, when put together horizontally, make one Endbringer. This gets me interested because the last time we saw something like this, which was vertical in nature, was BFM and Unglued, which I'll have a picture of very shortly. That was a huge card. That was a 99-99, 99 power, 99 toughness. toughness. If there was one card that you wanted to make it extremely difficult but be the winning card, Emiko would be that card. So these are the front of the card. So Smoldering Mars, Ob Nicholas, Reignited, this is the front, and when you flip it, you get the two backsides, which we just saw, and then combining the two black backsides, you get the one Endbringer. So a fascinating test print, and at that time, I didn't really get why they, what they were doing, but now it makes a lot of sense. Card Fight Vanguard has these. Um, every single other card game uses double cards or in Pokemon, they're called break cards. And I'll show you a version of Pokemon. So it makes a lot of sense from a design standpoint because they've already done the flip technique twice. They're running out of space to really design clever cards. And this is probably one way. And even more to the point, if Emiko is in Moon, which I believe it is because of the shipping information, which was sent to emails, that's in another video that I will attach a link to. So in case you didn't watch the video. Essentially, Emiko was announced to the distributors as well as the or event organizers that it's somehow going to be sent to them for the Moon pre-release. So, I, I like the concept and this is going to make them a ton of money if they didn't even... So they have at least probably considered this way. Make Emiko a promotional card, but make him one half of the promotional card. Then the other half can be purchased in booster packs. Magic the Gathering, as well as Wizard of the Coast, needs to make more money. And they've been on record for say, saying that making more money is not depending on getting more players. That's not their marketing plan. Their marketing plan is to get more money from the players they already have or have a higher level of engagement and have a higher level of profit because it's always easier to milk the clients that you currently have over finding new clients. So, I mean, they will try to do both. So we're going to look at a few Pokemon break cards. They do exist in other games. Um, they are extremely common in Pokemon. I mean, there's a whole series of ultra rare cards that break ride. And then and break ride is actually the term in Vanguard. So Vanguard, you have them as well, where you search out your deck and then you get the other piece. So what would make Wizard of the Coast more money than if, for instance, they went ahead put a gave everyone the same promo half which could be a mythic if they wanted and then told everyone that the other half was in a booster box again baseless speculation but fun to do none nonetheless leave me a comment below do you think this is crazy do you like the concept do you hope they do the concept um i actually predicted for our <laughs> fetch lands and it came true I didn't know that there would be in foil, right? Because anything that gets people to spend more money has to be considered. Because that's Wizard of the Coast end goal is to get us to spend more money. And this would get people to spend a ton of money, right? Hey, this is a pre-release promo for you. But to play the really awesome card, you need to start buying booster back boxes. Um, and that would even be better than the Expedition fiasco, which, you know, I... I have my own opinions about that one.